Hello my YouTube family. I hope all of you are doing well and staying blessed. Today I wanted to talk about a very interesting topic. It's about the magic of rainwater and how you can use rainwater in a spiritual way and for some really cool spells. So if you have seen a lot of the spells call for usage of water and during those times we end up using tap water or sometimes we just end up using distilled water but please note that tap water does not have the same potency and the same strength as that of rain water it is only rain water that has to be collected and used in spell work because of its magical properties now why do we have to use rain water it is because it is the connecting force between the elements of air and earth which makes it a really potent ingredient in spell work it is much 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 purer than mineral water water collected from springs water collected from uh, rivers and all of those things so always remember that whenever it rains outside go ahead and you know keep a small vessel or some form of uh, uh, mechanism has to be in place to collect pure rain water and remember one thing if you are collecting water from the rain that falls during the storms remember storm water is even more powerful because it is now charged by lightning and uh, it it brings in a lot of potency whenever we work with storm waters now um you can use this rain water for different kind of spells it could be spells related to balancing it could be spells related to clearing it could be a banishing spell or whatever so uh, we'll talk about it a little later in the video i also know of people who actually wash their crystals with rain water or sometimes leave their crystals in the rain water so that it charges their crystals and it now has better healing energy also in your homes wherever you have stored the statues of gods goddesses your altar everything has to be cleaned and instead of just cleaning it washing it with normal tap water you can always use rain water to clean these uh, statues and your altar itself and not just that all your uh, tools which you use during your uh, pujas or during your uh, rituals always make sure that that is wiped clean with rain water now if you are creating any form of rituals then you know you might use candles for your rituals so during those times uh, what you can do is you can cleanse your candle with rain water and also the place where you are performing your uh, candle magic you can make sure that you wipe that particular place completely clean with rain water so that it removes any form of negative energy that surrounds the space and uh, you can also store it into the refrigerator and then you can consume that water for the healing of your body itself now uh, there are a lot of people who also try to collect rain water as per the cycles of the moon so because a waxing moon or a full moon has a greater pull there are a lot of people who try to uh, collect the rain water if it coincides with a full moon similarly uh, there are people who are trying to release negative energy and negative experiences from their life they are trying to release people that no longer serve them 
so in that case during a waning moon if there is a rain water then they try to harvest that particular rain water so every type of rain water has its own energy uh, like i had mentioned before and it can be used uh, according to uh, the specific scenario that we are looking at so i'll just quickly give a few examples so like i mentioned uh, if you are trying to show gratitude and you are trying to give thanks to the year that has just uh, gone by then what you can do is you can uh, collect the rain water during the fall season and you can store the rain water in an orange colored bottle which symbolizes the uh, strength of fall uh if you are trying to bless a person a relationship or an object then you know if there is an event such as a birth in the family or if there is a new relationship that has fostered such as a wedding or if there is a new business venture during those scenarios what you can do is that you can collect the rain water during winter because the rain water that is collected during the season of winter will help you serve uh a long life but it will also help you survive the hardships of life i already spoke about collecting the uh, rain water during the full moon because the water that is collected during the full moon can be used to uh cleanse your body as part of your daily bath ritual it can be used for blessing a child it can be used for blessing your new pet it could be used uh, to even clean all the altar spaces that i mentioned about and of course the um, new moon uh, rain water can be used for workings when something needs to be brought in or when you are starting a new project similarly there are other uh, seasons as well such as springs summer and so on where you can continue to collect the rain water now of course uh, when you are trying to collect the rain water during the thunderstorms tornadoes or hurricanes that is so powerful that it removes all the blocks in your life which exists currently and it can be used to change a pattern or a habit that you no longer like so as you would have seen based on whatever i have mentioned so far there are a lot of abundant uses of rain water and there are different types of rain waters and you can always collect the rain water to transform your life in a magical way now while i spoke so much about the magic of rain water it is important to remember that whatever rain water you collect has to be pure now you should make sure that the water that you are collecting should not get contaminated from puddles gutters drains from the taps and so on so basically that particular water which is being collected should be something that comes directly from the sky into your vessels or your uh, vases or whatever you use for your rituals and it should not have any form of dirt and pollutants by the water running on a particular roof or a ground or somewhere and basically ensuring that it does not get contaminated so place it always below an open sky and collect all the water that you can and then fill it into the vessels inside your home and once you collect the water don't forget your intention so focus on the desires you would like to achieve with the rain water that you collected and this collection has to become part of your daily ritual and this has to be incorporated into your daily spell work now of course you can always go a step extra and you can blend the rain water with different items 
uh, as part of your spell work as in like you can always add a few drops of lavender oil to protect yourself and your home you could add some eucalyptus oil into this rainwater to promote healing or you could add some cinnamon powder and mint into that rainwater to achieve wealth and wellness so this is a gift of mother nature to us and the benefits of rainwater is so very limitless that it is almost impossible for me to uh, convey all the benefits of rainwater in one single video because remember rainwater is the core element of magical life so with this i would request you to please start harnessing the power of rainwater into your lives and i hope this transforms your lives in a magical way if you have already not subscribed to my channel i would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that it encourages me to make more videos of this nature thank you so much i hope all of you have a blessed day ahead